Elegant Text Animation Video Number Six. stroke width I'm going to choose 10 pixels and by holding shift let's create one ellipse like this then select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the contents go to the add menu and let's choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this 90 initially like this then we will go to the ellipse one we'll go to the stroke one and in line cap I'll choose round cap like this okay now we will go to the contents we will go to the add menu and we will choose repeater like this let's go to the repeater one and go to the transform repeater one and as you can see the position is 100 so let's make this zero and for the scale i'm going to decrease it up to let's say 90 like this and then i'm going to increase the copies so i'll get this kind of shape and now if you see we have one rotation value over here if i rotate it as you guys can see we are gonna get this kind of weird shape like this so now let's go to the start and now i'm going to make it 42 create one keyframe over here go to around 8 to 9 seconds or let's say 10 seconds and let's increase this rotation value somewhere around like this so we'll get this continuous rotation animation then if you want you can select this you can increase the stroke width it's totally up to you and if you think this is quite misplaced so you can adjust this anchor points also like this oops sorry uh, i have decreased the stroke value so let's choose 12 and with the help of this anchor point more you can adjust this anchor point also like let's choose 10 by 10 and let's see what we'll get we'll get something like this so now this anchor point is properly at the center and now uh, as you guys know that we have created one trim part so let's create one keyframe at the start and let's go to around let's say two seconds and create another keyframe let's go to the start and let's make this zero now select those keyframe and hit f9 and if you see this we are gonna get something like this now let's select this text and now we will type one text let's type motion and then let's type graphics select this text and let's decrease the size like this and decrease this distance now select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this okay and now what we need to do uh, we need to create one rectangle and i don't want any stroke I'll choose black fill and I'll delete this row and we will create one rectangle press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now let's select the shape layer and let's move this over here like this so we will get this kind of stuff and now we will select the shape layer press s let's unlink this and let's make this zero initially create one keyframe go to 1.20 frames and let's make this 100 like this select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this now select the shape layer hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as mask and bring this over here select this motion text press uh, f4 and then choose this alpha mat then select this text press p create one keyframe over here go over here create another keyframe go to the start let's bring this downwards select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here so we will get this kind of stuff and if you want you can move this text over here also so we'll get something like this let's move this only over here and at this point i'll move this totally up to downwards like this so if I see this animation, I will get something like this and you can select the shape layer, you can hit U and as you guys know that we have one trim path animation, you can select those trim path animation keyframes, go to the graph editor, select this graph, let's move this over here. So we will get some little bit smoothness in our animation. Then right click, 
new create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect simply double click to apply increase the glow like this and glow threshold also and decrease the glow intensity a little bit so we will get this kind of animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned